okay, these are my opinions. You don't have to agree with them. Don't get butt hurt if you're a fan of these shoes, if you purchase these shoes, if you design these shoes, if you're with a company, whatever. There's a pre-warning that I'm going in. Well, you've probably already seen the title and it's getting to that time of year, so let's do some lists. This is gonna be one of four lists and we're just gonna get straight into it. At number 20, Oh man, like 574 is one of my favorite shoes and for them to desecrate the 574 with this thing <laughs> they, they put a whistle on the shoe like what purpose? What possible purpose do you need a whistle on your shoe? Is someone gonna be dragging at the back of your feet? Like are you gonna take that off get the whiff of your thing and like uh, Someone gonna turn it into a bong like what what is the point of this? Soleil Bembury, Bembury, Soleil Bembury, Soleil Bembury. I I'm, I apologise for botching your name. I'm sure you do good things, but this isn't one of them. Number twenty of the worst shoes, and it's only going downhill from here. Number 19 really isn't a shoe, but it has laces, comes in a shoe box, so we'll call it that anyway. It's the Lego Superstar. I dig the idea with the collabs, but the, the fact they're $160 for Lego, you get one shoe. It's got laces, they try and make it like you could potentially wear it, but... Man, like $160 for a novelty. If it was like 50 bucks, cool. 50's cool. You know, at the end of the day, it is plastic. It's just little bits of plastic. I understand the the collab and everything like that. It, it costs money to do. There's gonna be splits, but terrible. Number 18, man, Yeezy's gonna have Yeezy's gonna be all over this list, let me tell you. Because they had some absolute shockers. Don't get me wrong, they had some really nice shoes as well. This is the first year that I've actually thought about purchasing Yeezy's, but at number 18, it is the Knit Runner. You can imagine the pitch, right? All right, we're gonna do a clog, like a wooden clog, right? But it's gonna be made of knitted material. And inside it is basically just going to be foam. There's no cushioning, there's no stability, no nothing. But we'll attach Kanye to it. Brilliant! <laughs> this is the dumbest fucking thing. This is... Man, I've been saying this for years, but like... With his music, Kanye needs another set of ears in there to say, ah, maybe that ain't it. He's surrounded by yes men. But at the same time, the fact that it is Kanye, they sell out anyway. Whether or not people are actually buying them to wear them, or they're just buying them in the hopes to resell, I don't know, because I've never seen anyone wear them. Ever. Not even like in YouTube world, like in sneaky YouTube, I've seen people try them on, review them, but I've never seen anyone wear them, so, terrible. Number 17 is the Converse Run Star. Now they did a bunch of collabs with these and they're just, they're just horrible. I mean, I feel like they're going for that big titty goth girl look with these, I'm not sure, but Maybe these are replacing Rollers or Doc Martens or they're trying to get in that sort of lane, but I remember the Space Jam ones came out and I'm just, that was the first time I was made aware of them and I'm like, who's gonna buy that? People in their 30s that relate to the original one aren't gonna buy that. Kids that are watching the new one for the first time and that's their first Space Jam aren't gonna buy that. So who, who's buying this? I'm pretty sure they're all on sale right now, so no one's buying them. <sighs> this may be controversial, but I think they suck. <laughs> the Nike Stingwater Magic Mushroom Joints. <sighs> I don't 
know if they look narrower because there's no no tick on it, no swoosh, or whatever it is. But they're, to me, they're just a horrible looking shoe. They're, there's nothing. I, I don't know. It, a lot of people like these. A lot of hype beasts like these. More so hype beasts than anything. But for me, I just think they look terrible. There's, they're they're so bland. Not bland, but there's nothing offensive about them. They're just they're just bad. Kanye, you got another one, son. <laughs> the Yeezy Net basketball joints. I mean, I know he's been teaming up with Derrick Rose and there's all this talk, but who's actually going to play basketball in a pair of Yeezys? Especially these joints. When you play basketball, you want cushioning underneath the heel. Sure, they might have boots. That's your cushioning covered. You also want a lot of support around the ankle. Unless you're wearing like a huge ankle brace with these, there's no way you're playing with these on the court. You're looking for an early retirement. You're looking for an injury. I hope you've got insurance because, man, like, they're not as bad as the Derrick Rose Kanye joints that have been in the works and we've seen leaked images, but yeah, these are bad. Just stop. Just stop. Kerwin Frost Superstars. I mean, Superstars are one of my favorite shoes, right? 100%. The OG colorway, favorite. This joint right here, dumb as fuck. Let's take a dope shoe and just make it bigger. Make it look bigger on your feet. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense, like why? Why are you trying to wear clown shoes? Like, come on man, like, ah, uh, it just, there's nothing more to say about this. Like, he just took a superstar, made it stupid big. They're not practical. It's, I can't believe Adidas is signing off on this shit, but there's plenty more on this list that Adidas signed off on. That's much worse. <sighs> Kerwin Frost joints were bad. They were really bad. But these shits right here are just dumb as fuck. Like, alright, Kerwin did something that was a little bit bigger on your foot, looked like clown shoes. Here's some like clown shoes the clowns would clown on. <laughs> these, these shits are like almost a meter long. What is the fucking purpose of that? What a waste of material. Who is actually buying it? I don't I did not know who Tommy Cash was prior to seeing this. And I thought it was a joke, but these actually released. Think about that. Matthew J. Welty had his collab denied, but these fucking released. <laughs> <laughs> I want some game warm welty spezzy ass. Come on, man. These here are meant to be some sort of high end collab, and like I've mentioned before, when it comes to a high end collab, I generally have no idea who the other company is involved. But I, I started taking note of these when I was seeing, like, within Facebook groups, that they're trying to be resold for like five, six hundred dollars, and I'm like, they look horrible. People think there's money in this, so like there has to be something about it and just not that I saw people rushing out to buy them on the secondary market, but I don't know. The Quando one, I I just pray there's not a two. This this is You're doing too much, alright? Same with what we've been saying with Adidas with certain things. Whoever signed off on these, relax. Just fucking relax. It's like one of them joints that you see like at Paris, like when they do the fashion shows and they're wearing this ridiculous outfit that will never just be worn. None of them shits is going to be worn. It's just to make some sort of statement, right? That's what this feels like. The Piss Stain Air Max Ones. Now obviously, these were meant to release this year. An absolute tragedy happened at the Astro World Festival and a lot of companies, rightfully so, in my opinion, are taking a backward step from Travis. And 
I, I'm not going to touch on the situation. Me personally was never a fan of him and what happened was terrible. That's all I'll say. Uh, but these joints are fucking horrible. Like, they look like you were wearing these out in the streets. They're your only pair. You're pissing on yourselves and gradually the stains collected. Like, these is horrible. But because they're associated with Travis, people would have bought them, they would have gone eight for them, people are buying them early, all that, but ain't I beast. If they look like shit, they look like shit. And in this case, they look like piss. I'm always one for positive reinforcement. Um, I like to spread positive vibes. It may not seem like it in this video because I'm just shitting on everything, but be do win sounds like a great phrase it's like live laugh love or whatever like just three words thrown together into the universe and do your best but that's not what they did with these shoes these are terrible these are <laughs> and, and they've put them on the launch sneakers area maybe to garner that little bit more hype but they're just a bad shoe they're a bad shoe they're like if you had a loafer, threw in like a boat shoe, a dress shoe, and then finished it off with little sneaker type-esque properties. That's what the B-Do win is. And for me, it's a big swing and a miss. The Adidas, Sean Moore the Spoon, Super Earths. He had that one joint with Nike, he was meant to have another, they, you know, they did well. Personally, I liked the idea, I just didn't like the colorway, the corduroy, but apparently that's his thing. Not so much anymore, because now his thing is just excess material. Like, we talk about practicality, we talk about fashion, we talk about execution, we talk about executives in a room signing off on this bullshit, because... Let's face it, if you're walking down the street, them excess threads, they're going to wear out extremely quickly. They're impractical. What are you going to do? Get some little scrunchies for your shoes. This shit is dumb as fuck, but it's not as dumb as the other entry he's got in here. The Adidas Sean Witherspoon Super Turf. These are like a Volkswagen combi van with their own little surf kit up the top. But the thing is, there's nothing cool about this. Everything that could have been cool about a combi doesn't work for a shoe. And just for the sake of it, let's throw Jiminy Cricket on there. What? <laughs> the colors are awful. The shoe is awful. The little fucking bag on the top. Can we just stop with the stash pockets and everything like that? I get it. It happened once. It was dope. Now, redundant. Stupid. Stop. Adidas, what are you doing? <laughs> this may be another controversial one. It was very popular back in the day. Came back with little to no hype. Possibly because there was a lot made, but the Clot Air Max 1, Kiss of Death, I think it's called. I'm not trying to see my toes. I love the Air Max 1. The Air Max 1 is one of my favorite silhouettes. I can't wait for it to come back next year. But this joint is terrible. You've got the anatomy of your feet on the bottom of them. You've got all these clear panels. like. How crazy are you going to have to do your socks every time just to wear this shoe? It's just a lot of work. And let's let's take that out of the equation. Was it meant to be so you could see your feet? Is this for people to wear with no socks? Let me tell you, i got some jacked up feet. I'm, I'm not trying to look at them at all. Just, just bring me back GR Air Max 1s. Throwing a couple hype collabs, just 
Give me the Air Max one. Give me the Air Max one knife by you back at least. Please, I'll, I'll do my own joints. Nike Blazer Mid, ready made. This felt like the start of the whole recycle movement and I am not against recycling. I recycle, I do all that type of stuff. I bought a couple of recycled joints, the Air Force ones, the Nike Air Max 90s, but... <sighs> That looks like some bootleg shit. Like that swoosh on the side. And people tried to be like, oh man, now I'm seeing him in person. No, you're a hype beast. These are fucking terrible. Like, nothing about this shoe looks good. That little weird fucking skinny swoosh that looks like it's made out of like the ringlet shit they used to put cans in. Like, um. I almost forgot about this one and when I was doing the research I was flipping through I was like yeah that's right this thing sucked so now it's on the list I don't even know how to say this the Yeezy not sold boot net boot <laughs> like, let's take a Birkenstock sole surround it with like an Ugg boot type thing give it a moon landing feel something you feel like you could go into the snow with but it's not waterproof so really what you're doing is just sweating for the sake of sweating because Kanye told you to do so are these even a sneaker should these even be on the list why did Adidas make these this is another I sound like I'm bashing on Adidas but it needs to happen and it's only getting worse from here, Adidas. It really is. The Sakai Blazer. Now, I've, I've not liked anything Sakai's put out ever. The double sole, the double tongues, all that type of stuff. Looks terrible to me. But these joints, absolutely horrible. Especially the yellow and orange ones. And for the first time, something Sakai, it, it sat. So I think people resonated. Even the hype beast element to these couldn't get them over the line. And I wonder why. Just look at them. The extra like bit of sole up the side, it looks like a foreskin. <laughs> they, these were so bad that I feel like they just recycled the ones that they sold or didn't sell. And They've just reworked and put cores in prints and now they're reselling them to us as a cause collab. Still don't think they did that well. Damn, I actually had the knit runner on there twice. That's how bad damn joints are. Somehow I actually missed these on the list. They were on the list. Um, but yeah, I missed them, and I, but I had the knit runner down twice, so go figure. Didn't have time to refilm, so I just quickly recorded this audio. R.O.P. Virgil, but these are fucking horrible. If the Yeezy knit runner wasn't bad enough, if the Yeezy boot wasn't bad enough, let's combine the two of them in the ultimate case of fuckery. Ladies and gentlemen, this is incest for sneakers. Again, why was this made? Let's take the two dumbest ideas Adidas has ever co-signed and put them together. I shouldn't say that actually because we have one more. We do have one more. But this is bad. I, If you saw someone walking down the street wearing these joints, They're head turning, but not, not in a good way. Like, there is not one good thing I can say about these. These are landfill. <laughs> like, are these reselling? Are people buying them? Like, I, I couldn't even tell you. Did they do a super limited amount so it didn't backfire on them? Like, I, I honestly thought it was a joke. But they released. And the number one... Worst shoe of 2021. You've done it again, Kerwin. Done it again. You took a shoe that I love that came back and had a massive resurgence this year, the Adidas Forum. 
And then you went Mr. Potato Head on it with a slashy Guess Who. Them eyes look like some shit from Guess Who. He won't tell you where the eyes are from because I think he's used from a picture. He doesn't want to get sued, probably didn't get the rights to him. But this is the dumbest shit ever. I've said that a couple times, this, this, this little rant list, whatever you want to call it. But have a look at these. Truly have a look at them. Who the fuck signed off on these and said, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Who's going to wear them down the street? Who's going to wear them at all? This looks like back in the day, if you're watching like a kid's show and they're like, you can make a friend out of what you have around in household items. And someone did it with a shoe. Now you're putting it on your hand going, hey friend, was that your only friend growing up, Cohen? Like, what's the deal? I need to know who hurt you. Who hurt you to make that shoe? I feel like I'm attacking dude. Maybe I should say like the forums he made with just the cartoon pictures on the side. I like them. They were cool. I didn't buy them, but I like them. They're not bad. But these joints ain't it. These joints will never be it. Please do not do another colorway. And Adidas, take a good, hard, long look at yourself. Please. You did some good things this year. Brought the forum back. Some really nice shell toes. Some cool Yeezy colorways, you know. I still haven't copped a pair of Yeezys, but I'm trying. That's a start. This has been another episode of Creased Heat. The worst sneakers of 2021. What do you think? Do you agree with my picks? Do you like some of these? Are there some ones that I missed? I feel like I went through everything that released this year to compile this list, and it did take a lot of time, but we'll see. There's three more lists to go, and You'll just have to tune in next time. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Peace.